right guys, so let's begin super strong and hit this workout for good. Your first cardio exercise is a side lunge, side to side. Get ready, set, let's crush this one together all the way guys. Feet together on the way back. Let's wake up this body first. We have a good quality workout ahead of us. Challenging one, but we will do it together. Today I'm using resistance band along with the lighter weight of the dumbbell because we work in a hit style compound exercises. And if you don't have a resistance band, don't worry about it, you still can do it. All the way guys, pick up the pace, waking up the body. For the low impact today guys, we're gonna be holding plank or bear of your choice. All right, give me a few more seconds. Also, I will give you a hot blockwise. We're going to be alternating cardio block, strength block, and resistance band block until the very end before we do our one block of flexibility. All right, guys, excellent. So proud of you. Go to your plank, plank on your knees, or your bear, guys. Your next exercise is your squat to double crunch, knee to elbow. Get back on your position. So take a look. You go squat, arm, and double crunch. Challenging, fun, effective. Nobody is going to give up. Get ready, guys. Arms over, hat. Set, and let's crush this one. All the way. Good work, squat. One, two. Squat, guys. One, two, you've got this. Squat, side inside guys squat that's it the time is going to fly by super quickly squat guys all the way reach that's perfect you can hit a little bit drop if you wish if you're using the plyometrics that's gonna make it a little bit more challenging all right guys stay with me let's finish this one together brace your core all the way reach You've got this. Nine blocks total will fly just like a five minutes. I promise you that. Coming down all the way. Reach. This is our challenge. We're moving quick through this. All the way. Reach. Excellent. Bear or plank, my friends. Body is waking up. Stay with me. A few seconds left, guys. Your next exercise, hands behind the hat squat drop or you will begin in a regular squat if you're not doing the drop if you're doing the drop you're going to begin here we're going to reach ankle one by one return back to standing get ready guys set hands behind here we go you don't have to do the drop guys you can come back and just stay already in a wide squat and just do your reaches reach and squat without the hop all the way i want you guys try to reach those ankles all the way try don't back bend focus on the legs focus on the squat guys down focus on that squat my friends we will do it together we almost through our first cardio block already down guys all the way touch touch You've got this one. Down, touch, touch, excellent. Down, lower, touch, touch. You can stay in a wide leg stand and just do your squat without the hop. I add a little bit more intensity for my intermediate and advanced and for myself. Last one, excellent. That was challenging. This is our longer break. Come on down guys to your bear or hover. A few seconds, we're we ready to stay hydrated and drink the water. That bear really adds to the legs. All right, team, drink your water. Your next block is with a lighter weight dumbbells. I'm using today five pounders in each hand. Your first exercise is a squat, deadlift, together at one, knee lift. Abs in and brace, the difference between regular deadlift, you bend your knees a little bit deeper. Get ready, guys. On the position, here we go. Alternate the sides. 
bend your knees, lift your knee, guys, for good. I want to see those knees getting up high so you can target your lower abs. That's it, we've got this one. And by the way, in our workbook today, the chapter on the flexibility, not just the flexibility of the physical body, which is of course great, but the flexibility of the character, flexibility of the goal settings, flexibility of the mind, flex flexibility of the relation with the relationship with other people, flexibility, how we achieve our goals, the ways we get there, and how quickly we can change our approach. So this is a self-assessment on your flexibility at your character in life. So make sure you finish it if you haven't completed this yet. This is a part of the challenge. All right, guys, go back to your bed. I got you, I got you, I got you covered, guys, stay with me. The next exercise is kind of a long one, but it's very cool and it's really effective. You're going to work your back. You're gonna go deadlift, row, kick back, push forward, come back up. Good for back, good for arms, do your best. Here we go. One, row, kick, push forward with me. Come on back. Deadlift for good, bend over, kick back tricep, right from the kick back tricep. You come back to push. Row, kick, back, push guys, all the way, repeat. Deadlift, good bend over, back, push. That's it. I told you it's gonna fly. Let's go, my friends. That's it, flexible approach in life is really important. That's it, to achieve our highest goals, to achieve our highest potential. Strong people, guys. They really make the decision quickly, but then they are really flexible in changing the approach quickly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Finish strong, all the way, kick back, last one. We got this. Finish till the very last second with me. All right, guys, all the way back. The final exercise of this look is single arm row, alternate in a bend over position. I want you to go quickly, those are lighter weights quickly, effectively, with a super form. Absent, you can only go as low in your bend over position as you can maintain your neutral spine. Shoulder blades connected, begin. So it's not just one at a time. We alternate, guys. Like you punch and roll, punch and roll. When you release, I want to see some force. Punch and roll. Bend over, guys. Very nice, push it, push it. Stay with me. Look right up front of your feet, not completely in between the feet, right up front, or if you have a mirror, you can look at the mirror. Nice and gentle. Stay low, stay low, guys. We got this one. Few seconds left, guys. Wider, bigger, stronger, faster. Bend over. That's it. Elbows right along that rib cage. Finish strong, guys. Few seconds left. Three, two, one, and done. Excellent. Put your dumbbells back. Quickly into your bare pose, hover or your plank. We begin our block when we're gonna be using resistance band. For this block, we will use resistance band solely without the dumbbells. Now, if you don't have resistance band, use your dumbbells, guys. Use your dumbbells. Or you can do it without the weight, which is also an option. Imitate the movement. Put your resistance band on your palm. Get to your side plank. You're gonna roll and hip dip all on one side. Get ready, give me great stand. Three, two, one, go. Roll, hip dip. While you do your hip dip, you holding that extension of the resistance band. Roll, back, hold the extension, hip dip. Anytime you have to put your hip on the floor, your knee on the floor, 
do it. Try, don't give up till the very end of the exercise. I want you to feel your arm, your bicep, tricep, of course, both arms, your obliques. This is really tough for obliques because we're using resistance band as well. Front abdomen works like crazy. Do not give up. All the way, guys, reach, pull it. Now release, pull it. Now release. Get it through. Excellent. This was something. We're gonna hold the bear only for a few seconds. Just acknowledge it, right? We didn't forget you, Mr. Bear. Come on back. All right. Other side, exactly the same thing, guys. I want you to stay till the very end. On the position. Get ready. Put your knee on the floor anytime you have to. Set the mind for win and success. We're going to crush this one. Here we go. Lift, hold. Then hips. Lift, hold. Row it, guys. Row it for good. You've got this. Row it high. Release low. Row it high. Use the shoulder and upper arm. Row, guys. Not with the wrist, please. Row. Hips. Back. Control. Use the upper arm to row. Use the upper arm to row. I know it's challenging when we do it right. Watch your arm on the bottom. That arm is steady, like a mountain, like a rock. Shoulder away from the away from the ears. Pull it. The last few seconds is really tough. We're not going to give it up. Finish very end, very end. Pull it. Last one. We got it through. That was hard. My both arms are tired. My legs, I can feel my obliques right here, guys, on the sides, internal and external. All right, quickly, on your prone position, if you don't have your resistance band, which you're gonna put on your wrist, don't use the dumbbells in this one, just do them T arms. That's gonna be plenty, I promise you. We're gonna go for the chest row. All the way, my friends. Try to send it all the way. Push. Push. Open it up. Push. All the way, pull it. Push it. Just like you do the wide grip row. This is a tough one. After what we did in the planks. Leave the chest. You can always, guys, get rid of your resistance band and just finish it without any equipment. Stay with me. Till the very last second, guys. Finish strong. Your back is working as well here. Do not quit, not yet. I'm feeling it. That's it. Excellent. I'm so proud of you guys. We're gonna go quickly to our bear. And this will conclude already your block number three. Time is flying very fast. All right, guys, we back to the cardio. This cardio block is all about jumping jacks and we're going to add some spark to this. All right, first round of the jumping jacks. Just your jumping jacks. Quick, simple, and super effective, guys. If you're not doing the jacks, you're doing top out, my friends. Get ready, set, here we go. All right, my beginners, do it slower, or if you have any challenges, or ankle challenges, do the top out, just like I showed you. Everybody, give me super good arms. All right, a little bit higher, guys, than just 90 degrees. We need that heart rate up. Stay with me. All the way, guys, don't quick. Let's make these jacks super fiery. The 
That's good. Stay with me, stay with me. Keep it strong. Breathe. All the way, increase the speed if you can. You got this. That's good. Excellent, I'm so proud of you guys. Few seconds left. Three, two, one. Fantastic. So rarely we do just the simple jumping jacks. I almost forgot how it feels. All right, guys, your next exercise is your one jack to the alternate rear lunge. It requires some balance. We do it as quickly as we can, not on the expense of the form. Get ready, guys. Set. Here we go. That's it. That's perfect. Quick, my friends. All the way. Get into that lunge. Wider, stronger. One. I've got you. Big one, longer, wider. Good work. Don't stop. Keep on working. All right, this is a good leg work, guys. That's it. Perfect. Excellent. All right, guys, back to your bear. Your next exercise is gonna be double pole, rear lunge, switch, or step to the other leg. Depend, if you do have an injury on your ankles and knees, then you're not doing hops. I recommend to stop full power, then downgrade to just step across. All right, guys, double pull, scissor switch. Get ready. One, two. You can begin with me, up high, and then you will downgrade to the just step across. That's it. Do your switch as long as you can. All right, not yet. We can do a few more as a switch. This is a hard one. That's it. Step across, switch. Keep your pumping. I'm going back, guys, to the switch hop. That's it, with me. Legs are giving up. I'm not. Excellent. That was something. We're going back to the bear. And that concludes. My quad is on fire. Oh my goodness. I barely hold in this hover. Four, three, two, one. If you did that scissor switch, you would feel it. All right, guys. Stay with me. Drink your water. We're going back to the dumbbell block, block number five. All right, your next exercise is a compound one. Take a look. We squat, bring the palms 90 degrees. Lateral raise, we'll begin from the top. Get ready, set, all right. Didn't have even time to recover my breath. Come on, guys. Hopefully you all feel the same like I feel, so I'm not alone in my heavy breathing. Bicep curl halfway through. What's important here? Guys, you go lower into the glutes. Raise up, back down, release. Simultaneous, back, release. A lot of mind work. Get back. One, lateral, two, release. One, lateral, two, release. One, lateral, back. Quick, one, lateral, back. Up, guys. One, lateral, back. 
Excellent. Squat into the glutes, back. You raise those elbows, guys. Only up to 90 degrees. Beautiful. That was tough. But I feel like I recovered after cardio a little bit. Your next exercise, guys, purely for upper body. Standing. Lateral lift 90 degrees, just like we did. We're gonna turn it to the rotation. Get ready, team. Set. Here we go. Right here in the position. Here we go. Do not release those arms all the way. There's no bicep curl. Just lateral, up, back, release. Lateral, up, back. Lateral, up, back. That's it. That's perfect. Stay with me. One, two, three. All the way, guys. One, rotate, up. Again, guys. Lift, rotate, back, neutral. Up, rotate, back, neutral. Up, rotate, back. Finish strong, guys. I know. Beautiful, lean, strong arms and legs. Come on, guys. We got this one. That's it. One more, one more. Push it. Can we do one more? Lift, open, back. That's it. All right, guys. Back to your bear. We still have one more exercise in this block. That's going to be very similar. Your shoulders are tired. Your upper arms are tired but you're not going to give up. We're gonna go back to the 90 degrees, back. But this, we're gonna add shoulder blades. Your push forward, arms push forward is optional. Get ready, set, here we go. Push forward or go straight to shoulder blades, right? Back, push forward to shoulder blades or straight to shoulder blades, push forward. Connect those shoulder blades, get back, lift, push forward, connect those shoulder blades. You can skip the front press. Don't forget to connect the shoulder blades on the way back. That's it. Perfect. Do not quit, guys. We got this one. Lift. Push it through. Connect the shoulder blades. Again, guys. Lift. Push it through. Connect the shoulder blades. Then release. Lift. Push it. Connect. Again, guys. Lift. Push it. Connect. We got this one. All right. Don't put your dumbbells too far away because for the next block, we're using our resistance band and the dumbbell. If you would choose to use just the dumbbell or just your resistance band, you can do it, but I encourage you to join me for the challenge. We're gonna be working single arm in the first exercise. For the second one, we're gonna switch just the arms. Put your dumbbell inside. It's a simple bend over, position is steady, Single arm row to the wide grip. Now neutral, now wide. Bend over dipper all the way. You've got this row. Wide, guys. Bend over row. That resistance band definitely adds a lot of challenge to this single arm exercise. Hit it all the way. You don't need to hurry up. I want to see the good quality. On the way back, I release. Don't drop the shoulder. Keep it neutral up here. Just like you almost didn't finish the tiny little of that movement. Bend over. Do not stop. All the way. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Last one. That was something. Leave that resistance band on that dumbbell. We will do other side in a second. 
Stay with me. Few seconds left, my friends. Three, two, one. Come on up. All right, grab the dumbbell. You're gonna put resistance band on the other leg, the same leg which we worked. Get ready. It's a good quality bend over position. Here we go, neutral, now wide. Neutral, now wide. Try to stay, guys, in your bend over position and do not drop the shoulder all the way, right? You roll, you stop up here, do not release the shoulder lower than 90 degrees. Your arm must stay engaged all the time. That's it. We got this. We more than halfway through, guys. Row it. Bend over, guys, for good until you can keep your lower back neutral. So your back is working, so your quads are working. And even your glutes partially holding this position. That's it, that's it, that's it. Last one. We got this one. Keep the dumbbell and resistance band together. We will need them. Come on down. We're gonna go for the deadlift and double arm neutral grip row. We only will be using one dumbbell, guys. Put your feet in a neutral stand. Your dumbbell in between. You have to have a strong resistance band, otherwise it's gonna pop. Shoulder blades connected, here we go. Come on up. All the way that lift, row it. This position of the hands allowed you to do very narrow row, activating obliques, and you work tricep a lot. Come on up. If you will take a look, you will see that I don't come up all the way through because I want to keep my back working through the entire minute. All the way. Don't come up all the way up. Brace your core. Bring the belly in. Give it a good row. Narrow grip. Dumbbell to your belly. That's it. We've got this one. Almost there, guys. Come on up, my back is on fire because I keep that back engaged through the entire exercise. Put it safely back down. Undo that resistance band and the dumbbell. We're going, guys, for our bear. Stay with me, a few seconds. Four, guys, three, two, one. Come on back, excellent. Beautiful work, guys. So that concludes our block number six. We have almost nothing left. Seven, eight, and nine is for our flexibility and stretching. Your first exercise for cardio. Walk to plank, simple shoulder top. Give me quick walks, quick tops. Here we go. Nice and quick. Use the arm strings, use the legs to jump start your walk. Use the legs to jump start your walk. Just kind of get under that walk. That's it, that's it. Beautiful. Perfect. Get back, get back, get back. All the way, my friends. Nice and quick. You've got this one. Come on up. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Excellent. We got this one. Couple more. And final one. Here we go. Excellent, guys. Come on up to your bear. We got this. All right, heart rate back. Your next exercise is a little bit challenging. Come on up. I'm gonna give you a little explanation. We go forward, walk. We go on a dolphin plank. Coming out of the dolphin plank quickly, as quick, as quick as we can, and we come back to the stand. Get ready, guys. On the position. 
three, two, one. Join me for the walk. Did you see how quick I did it? On the way when I already coming out of the dolphin, I'm already starting to walk back. Already start to walk back. That's it, naturally you will use different arms. So don't worry. Come on down. Come on, stay with me. Don't forget to pick the belly in, guys. I know, I'm feeling it. Go, 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 go. Start to walk quick, really fast. Beginners, you can use your knees on the floor in the dolphin. Pump it up, pump it up. That's it. Awesome. Almost there, guys. Don't quit. All the way back, 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 back. All right, super strong shoulders today. That's it. We go back to the bear. That was brutal. Next one is almost the same, but we're gonna add some legs and lower abs. We're gonna do the jack and the dolphin. And only then we will come back to the standing position. Get ready, guys. So walk, dolphin plank, jack and the dolphin plank, or step out, right, left. Then come back. Three, two, one, begin. That's it. That way, we add more to the lower abs. Right once when you go to your dolphin, begin your jack right away. Don't wait, please. That's it. We've got this one. This is a fun one. The arms become getting tired, but I want you to think about power within, fire within. Don't think about the quitting. Beginners, you can put your knees on the floor. Want to stand your jacks. Do your tap, tap quick. That's it, that's it, that's it. Don't stop, don't stop, guys. Still the very last second. We got this. We got this one. Go to your bear. We did it together. Congratulations, your final cardio block is officially complete. Block number seven, come on up. All right, guys, drink your water. Stay hydrated, sweat is rolling, calories burning. Inside out, drink your water. We will begin our strings block. All right, your first exercise is a combination of squat, deadlift, and the arm work. You will start with the dumbbells up front. You're going to squat that lift, give me double pump, come back. Here we go already. So it's a combination of the knee bend squat and bend over that lift, just like we do almost our skier, but the feet wider and the pumps stronger double. Abs in, keep pumping. I need you guys to control your shoulders in this exercise. Take your dumbbells back to the center. That's it. Perfect. We got this one. Hips back, pump it, squat lower, bend over until you can keep your back neutral and be able to lift the arms with the quality for pump. Don't give up, don't stop. That's it. We almost through. Don't quit. That's it. One more. All right, guys, time to rest in. Rest in the bear pose. I even afraid to say that. Rest in the bear pose. Sounds kind of weird. All right, three, two, one. Come on back. Tim, your next exercise is an even deadlift step. On the way up, we do the high pull. It's a compound exercise. We're gonna move quickly. Three, two, one. When I say quickly, as quick as you can keep with a good form. Step, deadlift, lift. Step, 
deadlift. That's it, come on. That's it. Good job, you can always slow down and separate each and every exercise. Or you can flow one from one to another. On your uneven, don't step too wide, right? Roll it high. All the way. Pull it, guys, with me. That's it. You've got this one. That's it, perfect. Finish strong, last one. Finish it, excellent. All right, we have one more exercise, strictly for the upper body. That's gonna be challenging for arms and shoulders. So what you will do if you feel that you can't keep up with the exercise anymore, you will do the one arm at a time or you will drop the dumbbells. Take a look. You begin up here, then you go up and extend. Pinkies together, pinkies out. Go. Rotate. Just like you do your Arnold press principle, not an Arnold press, but the principle is the same. It's a full rotation of the muscle. You don't have to bring it as high if you can't. You can also grab the lighter dumbbells. Here is the inward bicep curl. All the way out. Do the one dumbbell at a time if you have to, guys. You've got this one. With me, my friends, all the way. We got this. Finish strong. Till the very last second, guys. Pinkies out, pinkies together. Last one. We did it. All right, no more dumbbells, no more resistance band, no more bear hovers after this one. Let's give it a final good hover. So bear will remember us. Three, two, one. Drink your water, guys. This block I dedicated for dynamic stretching. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do first single downward facing dog flow to the pigeon. But the pigeon wouldn't be really a pigeon to complete. That would be like imitation when you stretch your hip and then you go back on the position. Here we go. Keep your toes on other foot tucked so you can easily come back up. We give it a real pigeon for our straighten and relaxation part. That's it, try to drive that ankle towards the opposite wrist. We got this one. You don't have to go super quick. That's it, stay with me. Give it a few more. When you expand to your down dog, do it a good way, all the way. Heart rate still up. Keep on breathing, guys. We got this. This is a challenging one on a hip flexor. Come on down. We're going to hold all the way, take it across. Give me just a few seconds, then I will take you to the kneeling position. So we compensate the back before we do this exercise from the other side. You ready, guys? We have to few minutes to push. If it's exactly, it's about three minutes. All right, all together with the breaks. Lock up, on the position. Three guys, two, one, here we go. You don't have to go fast here, guys. I want you to feel the hip flexor on the leg, which is attempting to go to the pigeon. That is perfect. All the way, my friends. Take it back up. That's it, we got this. 
We got this together, guys. All the way. Perfect. Don't stop. Finish strong. That's it. Perfect, guys. Shoulders away from the ears on the pigeon. Good job. Last one. We got this one. All right, opposite side. So we can give a good counter stretch and compensation to the back. Hold it with me, guys, for four, three, two. Come on back. All right, guys, your next exercise and final one is your down dog to up dog. Leg lift, single leg lift in the up dog is your option. You don't have to lift it left if you are not ready. Get ready, guys. Time is to work. Here we go. You can keep your both feet, guys, on the floor. Or you can keep it lifted, whatever feels right. Do just up dog to down dog, or do the tabletop to the down dog. Be very mindful. I want to see the quality, guys, quality of the movement. We're finishing strong, guys. We're finishing strong. Stay with me till the very last second. That's it. Big one, big one. All the way. Excellent. Last one, guys. All right. Come with me to your downward facing dog. Drop the hat, guys. Relax your neck. Give it a few seconds of the good quality stretching. Beautiful. Congratulations, but I can't let you go without a quick stretching session. All right, as I said, we're gonna go for the pigeon. So take your one ankle right up front. Take your back knee under, or if you're a beginner, you can leave it, guys, outside whatever feels right. All the way, stay on your hands or fold forward for a few seconds for the few breaths. Four guys, we did an amazing job. Three, two, and come on back up guys to your down dog if you can or to your tabletop. And now we go for the other side. We're just going to drive the ankle all the way. Back knees, underneath, or keep it outside, guys, if it has to be. You can have your hands on the floor or fold forward. Remember, if you do fall forward, do it through the hip flexor. Four, three, I'm so proud of you guys, two. One, come on back, come on back up. Bend your one knee, guys, relax your neck. Bend your another knee. Come on down. Toes together, knees wide. We're gonna give a little back bend. Take your hands on the heels, one at a time or two at the same time. Hips forward to your step. Four, three, two, come on back. That feels amazing. Come on up slowly, step wider, guys. Reach all the way. Let's give it a final lateral straight. All the way, support on that leg. And to the opposite side. Big one. We deserve some big quality inhalation. Congratulations, guys. Your workout of the day is complete. Do not forget to do your workbook on the day number nine on flexibility of the character and action assessment. Rest well, guys, recover well, and I will see you all for day number 10.